My name is Chris. You may recognize me from the not so popular duo Eric and Chris, or from the even less iconic pair Chris and Eric. In our duo, I was known for being the funny, handsome, and sarcastic one, while Eric was known for always being late to things. <laughs> uh, it's common knowledge within our friend group uh, that you need to give a one to four hour buffer for when to expect Eric to arrive. Uh, in fact, I'm sure most of you were as surprised as I was about Eric being on time today. So let's give him a big round of applause for that. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Eric's a great person and an even better friend. He's dedicated, funny, and loyal. He can make anyone crack a smile. But with all his positive attributes comes a few minor flaws, uh, and since those are funny, I'll mention those. Uh, Eric cannot answer a question straightforward the first time he's asked. <laughs> Another stick about Eric is that he tends to skimp out on the details when it comes to making plans. For example, if you would give me the dates for vacation and say, we're leaving on Saturday today, I could ask, what time are we leaving on Saturday? Uh, where he would reply, most Saturday. After getting to know Amanda over the years, it's obvious why her and Eric make such a perfect couple. Amanda is loving, selfless, down to earth, understanding, but Eric's gotten better with the details. He really has. Now when you ask him for the details, he says, I don't know, let me ask Amanda. Okay, now to begin, Amanda. I don't know if you remember, but when we were kids, one of the one of my favorite things to think of about our childhood is that we used to like to make up little games. I don't know if you remember, but um, one of Amanda's favorite games to play was school. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe some of you guessed it. <laughs> so technically, technically, I was her first student. <laughs> and you know what? She has never stopped teaching me. So. And then, of course, Eric, you came along. And when Eric came along, I was very curious about you because you made my sister very happy. I was like, okay, let's, let's give this guy a chance. And, you know, little did I know that he would become like a brother to me very quickly. With that being said, the days of Eric and Chris may be far and few between, but the days of Eric and Amanda will be every day, forever and ever. Dearly beloved, you have come together here before a minister of the church and in the presence of the community so that your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal and your love be enriched with his blessing so that you may have the strength to be faithful to each other forever and to assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Amanda and Eric, have you come here freely and wholeheartedly? Answer, I have. I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Answer, I am. I am. I am. And are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Answer, I am. I am. I am. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands declare your consent before God and His Church. Taking it to the top. 